Shift back to politics here and Donald Trump making a bold prediction about black voters. Watch this. Look at African American people in their prime 30s and 40s and 50s. Look at their unemployment rate. They want jobs. They're going to like me better than they like Obama. The truth is, Obama has done nothing for them. David Webb, the host of the Patriot Talk Show on Sirius XM Radio, is with me. All right, David, uh, what do you make of that? What do I make of that? Certainly under the policies and the way Donald Trump has operated businesses, blacks would do better. But how many times have you and I talked about this over the years, I mean, decades, that blacks shouldn't give their vote unyieldingly to one party? You've lost all your capital. Democrats own them. Younger blacks, however, are not all. They're voting on their fiscal issues. They're looking at their choices. I get people on my radio show, they call in like, I'm black, I'm 25, I'm black, I'm 65. I'm thinking about Donald Trump and what he says. Obama did give the blacks something. He gave them promises and no delivery. You got, you got promised all these things. What did you get? Double-digit unemployment, black youth unemployment at ridiculous levels, somewhere above 30 sure. percent. And look at your future. How can you build a future? Uh, black wealth is down substantially under, uh, under uh, President Obama, and yet, uh, you know, it's, it's tough because he's, President Obama is seen as a hero amongst black people. Hillary Clinton, not so much, and certainly not Bernie Sanders. So I think Donald Trump would have a good shot but what happens when they roll out Barack Obama on the campaign trail and he starts to demonize the Republicans, particularly of Donald Trump? You know what? I'm going to be a little harsh on call it blacks who just vote for him because he's black. If you're going to do that, then you deserve what you get. The problem is your children don't deserve that. They deserve a future. Look at policies. And to the Republicans, I'm going to say this. If you're going to claim you want to help the black community, you should claim you want to help the American community and tell people how free market capitalism, a real pro-growth system, real tax policies, real, you know, pair back of regulations so people can operate and own businesses. Blacks, own what you know. Jay-Z taught so many blacks about capitalism. They were selling CDs on the street. He cleaned it up, made it really nice, he made sure everything worked, sold it for $4.99 instead of $0.99. Cents. Learn from the people who've done it. Well, now, having said that, I think that does resonate with young people because when you hear them talk about it, including my son who came out months ago and said he wants to vote for Donald Trump, that would be his first vote. But by the same, same token, uh, oh, I think it was Friday or Saturday, Donald Trump retweets uh, something from a, a white supremacist group. Those kind of things, though, ultimately, people will vote for that over their own pocketbook because, essentially, we want to know, when I say we, all Americans want to know that whoever the president is, that that person likes me. Even if they have a great policy or game plan, we still want to know or think that that person likes me. Right. That and that's, play a role. That's, it's stupid. Donald, if you're listening to me, pay attention to your Twitter timeline, your social media, and whoever else is helping you with it, vet things. You've got to do these things. I watched him be compassionate in South Carolina. There was a former employee of his. She had terminal cancer. I wrote about this in my Hill article. She asked me for help. She was there. She'd gotten permission to come there. There's a picture in there. Donald comes over. He talks to her. Keith has had a securities buddy of mine. He takes the picture. He encouraged her. There was nothing in it for him at that moment. Right. There were no cameras around except for my cell phone to take the picture. That's the Donald that needs to get out there to the people. I think that is, I think that Donald is starting to get out there. I mean, I know that anger set the tone for this whole thing, and I think he appealed to that, even stoked it a little bit, but a game plan. Anger is great, but a game plan is really important. So I've got a game this. plan for Donald Trump. Remember Obama in his You're gonna give him speech? Advice? I'm going to give him, <laughs> him advice. I, no, I, I'm serious about this. Yeah, it's time for that speech, and I'm not talking 45 minutes or an hour. In 20 to 25 minutes, say, look, as a businessman, I operated in New York. I operated conglomerates in different cities. There were Democrats. I gave money to them. I, I did all this. But let me tell you how I'm going to govern if elected president. And then lay out a policy platform. Do that to the nation. Stand up and give that address to the nation, much in the way, while Obama did it for the wrong reasons, as I see it politically, he did in Philadelphia. He threw his white grandparents under the bus, but he reset himself and went on to South Carolina. Trump needs to reset with the country that my past is not how I'm going to govern if elected president. Now, some conservatives are saying that he's going to do exactly that, but when he does that reset, it's going to look a lot more liberal than his campaign, his platform has been so far. That's the back and forth in politics. Everybody's got an opinion, even I've got an opinion. What I'm looking at is strategy and tactics and then coming out and demonstrating how you're going to do these things. But the bottom line is any Republican, not just Donald Trump, who does put forth a pro-business, 
pro-growth pro policy. Pro-growth policy. Everybody benefits from it. Doesn't matter what your color, race, religion, age, or anything. When all t when the tides are lifting. Yeah. Everybody everybody raises. Thanks a lot, buddy. It's been too all long. Right. See you again soon. Okay.